Hey YouTubers, I have another interesting DSLR to introduce to you. As you can see, it is the Olympus E500. In other countries, it's called E-Volt E500. We have here an 8 megapixel Kodak KAF8300CE CCD image chip built in. So that is the same chip like in the E300 and some other cameras. This camera was launched about in 2005 while the E300 was introduced in 2004. There are many similarities but this unit, this unit here with the body, the kit lens and the zoom lens which is a 14 till 45 millimeters kit lens and the 40 till 150 millimeters are purchased for just 50 euros and there is one minor defect here which is that the CF card slot seems to be messed up there is one or two pins bended or missing that is fine because this here has also a slot for XD cards the XD picture cards and right now I have a 2 gigabyte in there from Fujifilm okay and you can see I have a couple of others here like all the range you know also I have a micro drive which is very interesting rare I have one gigabyte and a couple just some two gigabytes not too many and all the others are 16 megabytes 32 megabytes 64 megabytes so 128 megabytes or I think 256 and 512 so luckily when I purchased the E300 it came with the Olympus Master CD also a little bit rare to find but I think Olympus Master 2 you find online however this Olympus Master is to be used when you would like to update the firmware and also with the E300 this special USB cable came with it while it doesn't fit with the E300 for some reason I think it was for the E400 or 410 however with these two pieces I was able to update the firmware to the latest firmware and let me give you some more specifications the sensor size is 17.3 times 13 millimeters the the ISO you can choose between 100 until 1600 and somehow you also can push it a little bit up with the plus minus one third the crop factor of course is two that means you have a 28 till 90 millimeters focal length and of course for the zoom lens here for the telephoto lens you have 80 until 300 all without image stabilization please take that in consideration the LCD size is 2.5 inches with 215,000 dots or pixels the fastest shutter speed is one of a four thousandths of a second and you have you can use as i mentioned already the compact flash cards if my card slot would operate or work with uh, the type one or two or micro drive and of course as shown the xd picture cards 
The camera without the lens weighs about 480 grams, which is kind of like a lightweight. And it's a mid-size SLR. And I must say the results were very, very good. Similar, similar to the E300, of course, because the same sensor. It is all plastic, we need to take that in consideration, of course. Uh, we have the same SSWF, which is the supersonic wave filter. And the menu is pretty much the same like on the, on the other models. We got the flashlight built in. It, it's a consumer camera. It, it's not necessarily a professional camera because it's not weather sealed, uh, but it is a camera which is small, light, and produces very nice pictures. Only pictures, of course, yes. So it takes as all the others the PS BLM1 battery pack, and it requires the BCM2 battery charger okay and there's not much more to tell about it here besides we have uh, the traditional construction of the mirror and the bayonet is of course four thirds in the most cases you get the 14 to 45 kit lens and the telephoto lens 40 to 150 millimeters which is fine you are fully equipped with that combination you can do the most things as a landscape portraits and of course macro you need to have another lens for it but all in all for 50 euros not bad and this set. Thanks for watching. You're going to see some pictures at the end. Thank you.